Hello, I'm Andrew Lissin. Welcome back to From the Depths campaign. We are going to take down this 193 strength with a 20 strength outpost. So basically 213. We have a fleet. We have some aircraft. We get the aircraft closer. Although they don't mean to be that close. They fly pretty fast. And let's have a quick look at the craft over here. So I want to spawn in the Lit Geek and then go have a look. I don't know if it's been upgraded or not. Um, teleport 2. Hello, have you been upgraded? I believe you were upgraded. That is good. Also, how many helicopters do you have? It looks like three. Nope, that's four. Okay. Carry on. Okay, what about the Sam Cook? Aha, you have not been upgraded. Uh, I would like to retrofit to the Doodle Hog version 9. We're on version 7. Yes. Now, this is basically so that the missiles can be ejected upwards and then trapped to the target. And also has an IFF included. So, if I then go out. And I can then rename you to the same code. Sam Kirk. There we go. And we're all repaired. Excellent, because it's time to go. Do it, do it, do it now. Although, I think we're going to fight this one first. The Vendance. You know what to do. Begin the battle. The Vendance is really hard to kill now. I guess it's an advantage of being a sub. One missile decided, you know, I'm going to make a break for it. Shots are coming this way. And that buzzsaw is fast, but I think the missiles are still going to... Oh, yes. Nice. Very nice. Okay. That's just the first salvo, which means its shield is gone, I believe. One of its shields is gone. Actually, two of its shields are gone. And this guy over here is in range. And took a nice salvo. Excellent. Okay. Whee! Right, now where are we, importantly? Here. We're dropping mines as well. Oh, the mines are actually in range! I love it when you see the mines going. Like, they're not the most effective, but they look fun. Like, look at them! Look at them! They're jumping! They're, like, being attracted, and the nose is turning around, and then the nose has frags and stuff in it. And Oh, there we go. Like, mines aren't the most effective thing in the world, but they are just so much fun. Missiles are close enough to detonate, which is good. I was worried they might uh, be still in safety zone. But I think the safeties turn off before they actually exit the water. AI dead? Um, four seconds. I don't have time enough to jump out of the submarine, because I would need to uh, surface. Yeah, we're really far away now as well. Whee! Zoom in. How are you doing? Ah, uh, you've got a cannon that's actually trying to kill us. But the problem is, because uh, of the angle, currently your shells are skipping. That's a dedicated missile. Oh, look at this, look at this. This is the attack pattern. You can see they're to the left and right, and some of them are above, and then the above ones dive down. I designed the attack pattern that way, to try and defeat, um, you know, ships with, like, really heavy side armor, but less top armor. So you can see there were two rows, and one row was 10 degrees up, and the other row was, like, flat. And then they also spread out so that they can come in from different sides, so they don't all hit the same point. See? See? There's method to my madness of how I designed the attack program. It's not my code. It's it's my attack vector setup. It's my it's my formation. The, the code is not mine. I just change the variables, alter a few things here and there to make it work for the missiles. And then I put in some vectors and be like, follow this vector. Go kill from this angle. And honestly, it works a charm. It really does. And... And... <sighs> there we go. Oh my god, you are such a large craft. There we go. I really thought you were, you know, just got a very thick keel that decided to be the last thing to disappear. I'll be honest, the Vendance is probably our most effective thing right now. 
Okay, but let's take this fight, the one we've been building up towards. Uh, I would like you. In fact, I would like... Uh, I don't want the Stormtrooper because this is probably going to select the Stormtrooper. No, it isn't. There we go. I'm going to shift. And then I would like to fight. Uh, it seems a bit unfair, actually. I want to bring them in as well. So let us... Um, get just inside their territory so it pulls the 193 and it would be a bit unfair just to try and cherry pick them. There we go. Twelve of them. Spike, spike, arrow, spike, arrow. Thresher is their main thing. A lot of flying enemies actually. Glad I brought my fighters for this one. Okay, let us actually retreat back into our territory slightly. And we'll take the fight from our territory. We'll basically we'll fight them and then have to push through to the fortress in a line, effectively, rather than having like two fronts. So it's a cunning, cunning setup, right? Fall back here. I want you there, because I want you to be able to fly in over our heads and engage as soon as they've started. Okay. Bring it. Okay. Battle lines are set. We won't go for the full battle. I can't. I can't. It'll crash. We've already shown that it crashes with uh, too many fighters, let alone anything else. So, select everyone. I hope they're spawning that in as well. Let's set up the fight. I definitely want one of my fighters from game start. From game start, we need a fighter here. Then I want... Mm, do I want the Lit Geek? Yeah, I probably do. I want the Sam Cook last. Yeah, okay. And I want fighters equally spaced. In fact, I want two fighters on the deck immediately. And then I want a fighter in after the Lit Geek. And a fighter in there. After Dan Goodall comes in. In fact, no. After the story cell. And we'll open the battle up. I mean, how many blocks are... That is insane. We would never manage that. We can try... We know that there are issues with too many fighters. So let us try 22k. And I'm going to save the game. Can I save the game right now? No, I can't. Okay. Very well. Let us try this. Please do not crash. Please do not crash. Please do not crash. Please do not crash. What? I... I... I get only my fighters? What? Oh, you're kidding. I only get the fighters in with 22k because they outnumber us so much. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this puppy. What can you take out? That's the question. Oh, oh god, that's a lot of missiles. That's a lot of- Oh! Yes! Speed King! Speed King! Oh! Yes! We are the champions, my friends! This isn't gonna work forever, I'll be honest. <laughs> okay, what is their, like, city thing like? I don't know, but whatever it was, we just blew a massive hole in it. 
Oh, no, that's the anti-air. Oh, that's their anti-air thing. Well, I'm glad we killed that. Yeah, that's an anti-air missile launcher. I know that from story mode. Where are we? We're shooting over there. What about you? Are you okay? You seem okay. They are spamming missiles quite rapidly around you. I think you got that. You seem like you got that. Okay. This is like a tense dogfight. The music really doesn't seem to convey that. Okay, come on. Drop, drop missiles. Drop missiles. There's guys nearby. Drop missiles. Why are we not dropping the missiles? The hammer down. We need the hammer down. Come on, guys. Yes. Kill it. I have no idea what it is. But kill it. It's a big flying ball of gun. It's got a gun. Oh, oh, that might, that might actually hit us. Oh no, God! Wing down! Wing down! Is this the one with me in it? No! Okay, I need to be in that one. Do we have an engine? We don't have an engine. That would be part of our problem. Ow! Missiles! 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 Oh no! Two damaged! We're going down! Mayday! Mayday! You're trying to repair. It's valiant, but I don't think it's going to work. Oh, no! Also, someone f tried firing a laser at us. That's why we've got smoke deployed. Who fired a laser? Sustain by repairs. Keep it up. We're never going to manage that. We're too much of a target right now. That weird circle thing is annoying. And it just broke free of its circle. Is it meant to be free of its circle? Oh, those missiles are going to finish us. Yeah, there we go. Okay, did we spawn a Lit Geek class in? We did. Okay. Which means we've got helicopters as well. The Mokushin is damaged. I'm actually going to switch to the Mokushin. Oh god, that's too close. Oh, good dodge, though. And that's all of our ordnance fired. There are so many targets. The problem is the, the missiles don't just pick one target and obliterate it. They're designed to pick many targets. So that you can get rid of loads of light enemies. So we're not going to kill everything with one barrage. Which is both a plus and a negative. You know, there's, there's, you know, in situations like this, I'd rather take out one enemy. But against, you know, many, many small, like, airships, I'd rather target each one. Because these missiles do a lot of killing. Oh, are we going to outrun those missiles? I think we might. Come on, run out of fuel. Run out of fuel! Run out of fuel! Yes! They ran out of fuel! That makes me happy. Um. Turn, 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 turn. I'm taking manual control. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. Right, how are we doing down here? Something's died. Okay, let's go check on the cruiser. I mean, it seems good. Oh. We're hitting something. Missiles are being fired. Cannons are being aimed. I mean, most things on the water are now dead because of the cruiser's cannons. We're just going to get a lot closer. And then this one over here will be dead. Do you have shields? No. And you're, you're an anti-missile as well. Or you're the one that repaired. I don't think you repaired. Maybe you just spawned a new one. If we can take the anti-missile thing out, that'll make it much, much easier for our aircraft. I would like... 
full target. Start the system up. Get it dead. All, all firepower. Intensify forward batteries. Also start shooting down those missiles. It might be too low to intercept. Yeah, I think it was. Yes, it's dead already. Oh, nice. I just turned around and it's gone. Ah, I love you. I love you, little cruiser. Not that little. Okay, how are we doing? Good. Good. I have no idea where... Ah, oh, there we go. There's a fighter. A few aircraft over there. An enemy right next to us. Oh, hello. You've got a lot of your armor stripped off, but you're still moving. You really shouldn't be allowed to move if you're that close to my guns. Two damage. Was that our helicopter? Yes, it was. Ah! This is flying in front of my face. Can we just kill this guy? He's being annoying. He's not going to live very long. Let's be completely honest with ourselves. Sorry, mate. Now's not your time. Perhaps another day. Rapid fire cans are going online. There we go. Really? You're firing a main cannon at my aircraft? That's not going to work. You do know that. Why are you still here? Shouldn't you be despawning by now? You are a husk. Health below 90% and sinking. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's one of the arrows. Sure. When it, when it wants to sink. Oh, oh, oh! Missiles! Lots of missiles! Ow! That hurt! Actually, it didn't hurt that much. Where did they come from? Did they come from you? I think they did. Okay. You're my new target. I hope we got the thing behind us. I can't tell. I need to zoom out. Come on! What is it? What is it? Is it dead? It looks like it might be dead. I, don't, I can't tell, but we're going to hope it is. And, no, you're dead already. You're dead. Good. You're dead. I wish it wasn't raining. It'd be nice if it wasn't raining. I could see better. You're just getting pounded by uh, everything now. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're dead, mate. Oh, that was nice. One of the fighters just... All the missiles. Okay. What's new? There's an enemy over here, apparently. Hello. Oh, it's a downed arrow. Oh. Well, this just feels like shooting arrows in a... Barrel? I'm not sure the metaphor is the best one. Come on. That looks like a good... No, it was just sharp. Attempt. Better attempt. There's an actual enemy over there. I could go look. But I'm almost in the, the fate of this arrow, really. People have been telling me to capture stuff. But the problem with the white flare stuff, it moves so fast, you can't really get onto it very easily. Too damaged. Well, I hope that's theirs. Can I tell? Yeah, that looks like there's from the outline from the lightning. Which is pretty cool. Like, having to try and see things via the outline in the lightning storm. That's, that's pretty badass. And the fact that the lightning uh, is before the thunder. Also cool. Uh, but there we go. Here we go. Now the audience is coming in. Oh, there goes the ammo.
No, bad torpedo. We'll target this one. I know there's another enemy, but I just want to get rid of this one because I'm looking at it. What's the other enemy made of? That just looks like a lot of missiles. Two damaged. Yeah, you're going bye-bye. Okay, let's go find the new enemy. Is there not, like, a new enemy? Am I just imagining it? I thought there was another person. Maybe they're dead. Oh, no. They're over here. They're over. There must be a fly and they're moving fast. shoot over them. No, they're a flyer. No? Oh, they're a big boat. Okay. Just so it's official. All target their last. I think he's the last one. Murder it. We need EMP missiles to come in and help us out here. Oh, oh, hello. They've got missiles of their own going up. Although a lot of them appear to be targeting one of our flyers, which is just not going to end well for those missiles. Although that flyer is headed directly towards the missiles. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Yeah, oh, just altitude, man. This is couldn't get up fast enough. They've got no flyer coming in. None of them are dropping missiles. Oh, no, they did just a long time earlier. Mm. Makes sense. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Take it down. Still got a lot of shields up, which is a problem. Some of the shields are coming down slowly. Okay, those missiles. Can you take them out? I'll be interested to see. There are a lot of them. Oh, oh. It looks like maybe one got, or two or three got through, but most of them did get shot down. Not too bad. And I'll look back and the ship's just gone. No, it's still here. We haven't done a very good job of killing it so far. There we go. Now we're stuck. Oh, God. How the hell did we get in here? Must have been torpedoes. Oh, yeah, that must have been torpedoes. That looks like a torpedo to me. Nice. Very nice. That's a good thing about torpedoes. Like, they just ignore shields, basically, a lot of the time. Just because of their attack profile. They might be slow, but they're great for situations like this. That's just removed his ability to really do any damage, and now he's just going to turn into basically a giant target practice. This missile's getting shut down as soon as they launch. Sweet. Where are our fighters right now? No idea. I know that's a wing zero in the distance over there. So we must have got pretty far into our reinforcements. I could jump out and grab it. Where am I? Where am I? I'm probably directly above the target. Oh, uh, why am I moving? Oh, I, I retain the momentum. Lit Geek, get me on board. I'm going to try and capture it. I'll be close enough to capture it. Where is it? Down here? AI dead. Four seconds. Five seconds. Six seconds. There's a minuses, but whatever. I think I may have captured it. I'm not sure. Thresher. Yes. Mine now. Where is the enemy? There is an enemy over here. Incredibly petty enemy. Very well. Oh, hello. We're coming to kill it. Flagellator. 
with a top speed of basically zero, you're dead. You must be dead. 1% health? What? How does this happen? Okay. Oh, you the- you the base! Oh, you're the base! Okay! And you've got spinning shields, and we took out, like, most of your shields. Also, that's your ammo supply, probably. That's another load of, uh, plane attack. Got one hell of a cannon, though. I'll give you that. Oh, it's already despawning. Fair enough. The amount of firepower coming just from, like, in the fog bank. That's the cruiser over there. The wing zero is firing and missing. It's landing short, but they'll continue on towards with their momentum. Aircraft are somewhere around. So I'll just put the aircraft in the in the clouds. Like, I... I mean, I mean, you know, when it's like this, like, there's foggy cloud. Yay! Okay, that was uh, an interesting battle. Okay, I wish it was more clear, because that way you can see how big the battle was. For a lot of that, we didn't actually see how big the battle was. Um, how badly damaged are you? Very little, really. State to repair. And Red Wing, you lost one. But you're okay. Oh, and you need to be renamed. Uh, force name. 1AFG1. Accept. Well, let's go in and capture it then. I think it's our prerogative. And that means that they are down to a two front, although they can come around that corner, I guess. So we can actually move in there and then up to here. And we'll have a pretty good line on that. Harrison will move that up as well. You know what? We'll have you come around here. And then get ready for the assault on their base. I would like the up and smoke for that. That's fine. We'll get that. Anyway, I've been Atrelisic and end the episode with here. If you have enjoyed the episode, please remember to like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, stay shiny.